Howdy. Months and months and months ago, I shared with you a video about our plan to give signposts this year for students to be able to remember what we had taught, what we had experienced together over the course of the year. And uh, if you want to refresh yourself, you can take a minute and click on that video icon to watch it. If you're not on YouTube, you can go to one of these URLs and check them out. Done? Excellent. Well, anyway, uh, we haven't made it a full year. It's only been uh, September to June, what, 10 months? Yes. And uh, I will actually be stepping away from this ministry in about a week. So uh, we've only gone through June, but I wanted to make sure and uh, show you what we had accomplished as far as these signposts are concerned and give you just a few pointers if you plan to use this idea on your own. So uh, let me show you a few of my favorites and what we did with them. This was actually the very first one we did. Uh, we introduced the idea of storyline, and there was the church had a corn roast that night, so that's one of our students' corn. And uh, this was kind of our theme for the year, where, that we're all God's story, that we're figuring out what his story was and is and how we fit into it. Each of the signposts we put up would include the date, it would include the program itself, whether it was a Friday Night Flood or a Wednesday Night Live or a retreat or whatever we did. And it would also include one or two thoughts from the evening that really were supposed to stick with students as the year went on so that they could look at that, see those pictures, those thoughts, and be reminded of what they learned, how they grew that night. This is our first Friday Night Flood. Uh, we had a concert to kick off the year. And you can see this clip here. Uh, we were able to webcast the football games, whether they were home or away. We did not have Friday Night Floods when they were home football games. That's when we did tailgate parties. Nothing too deep, but just a, a chance to, to be able to have a face in the community, connect with students and on their turf. See? Tailgate party. This one might be confusing to anyone who wasn't there, but we went on a prayer walk around Cory, and these are two of the locations we visited, the hospital and the high school. Tailgate party at the homecoming game. Grandma Nancy's pumpkin night. Uh, she, one of our volunteers, put a whole evening together, message and challenge, all around pumpkins. See, we like pumpkins. We need to let God scoop out the junk. There are a couple of times where we did recaps of the story so far. Uh, as you see here, I snapped a picture. We did a huge mural with everything up to that point at the church that evening for our Wednesday evening dinner. A student put together a message and a challenge based on dating from a godly perspective. And I'd just like to point out, even though Friday Flood is largely evangelistic and uh, some might determine it as god light because we get into, don't get into deep scripture study on those evenings, that's Wednesday night, we are very quick to point out that truth only comes from God and following Him will set us apart. Our annual winter retreat, Snowbound. A lot of great stuff there. Impact nights. Once a month we tried to get out in the community and serve somehow. This night we just gave away free hot chocolate at the end of February at our local grocery store. Uh, another night where students planned all of the uh, teaching and challenge for the evening. Dodgeball tournament. Always fun. The 30 hour famine. And my last Friday night flood. And last night of teaching at Wednesday Night Live. All in all, there was a lot this year that we covered, a lot of ground, and we wanted to make sure that students remembered. And this was just one really interesting way to do it. I painted this line in the youth room uh, probably two years ago without a real plan as to what to do with it. And this year it just it showed up. One of the volunteers suggested that we put up something on that line, and it grew from there. This is what it looks like from this end of the room. It wraps all the way down there, around the wall. That's a cool camera, huh? And it starts there. And just for the sake of having fun, here's every image we put up.
We did post a picture of every one of these each week on, well, <laughs> they went up for each week. Sometimes it would do, I would do two or three at a time because I missed a week. Uh, put them in their own album on Facebook. Uh, you can find them here if you go to Facebook, or you can find them here on a Picasso uh, slideshow. Just kind of fun, you can embed it. So that's everything for the storyline signpost idea. Hope you enjoyed it. If you can use it, awesome. Let me know uh, how it goes for you. And uh, keep following my videos. I'm sure I will have many, many more to make in the new church uh, come next month. Peace be with you. Mm -hmm.